Hey, what's up, you guys? Miss QT Style. Um, I just wanted to come and give you guys an update. Um, I was let out of the hospital uh, Sunday evening. Um, and I've been off work ever since. Um, I've been feeling just a little, like, tired, like, really drained. Like, yesterday, I just kind of slept. Um, and, like, back of my neck was um, hurt me. Other than that, um, doing okay. I went to my doctor yesterday, and my, uh, my pressure was still a little higher than what she liked it to be. Um, so they have me on this lincinopril for my high blood pressure. Um, and they got me on this pill for high cholesterol. And which I don't really see. I guess that's hereditary because I don't really eat a lot of stuff with grease. So I don't know why I got high cholesterol. cholesterol. Um, I was, I had to get this machine. I got, I got machines, but this one is a little one to take my sugar. Um, I've been taking it. It was 156, um, 136 at lunch yesterday and 158 at dinner, which is beats 600 and something. So that's doing better. And what I've been doing is I got this tablet my daughter been gave me. And I never have wrote in it, but I'm going to use it to write down, you know, what I eat for breakfast, what time I eat. Like, breakfast is going to be not good for me as far as eating right. Because, like, right now it's, what, 9 o'clock? And I haven't eaten anything yet because I can't really eat early in the morning like that. Um, yesterday I ate one applesauce for breakfast, and I know that's not good. But uh, lunch I had a pollo loco chicken, which is healthy, and some vegetables. Um... And dinner, I had um, a turkey sandwich and some apples and stuff. So I did go and get some um, so-called healthy food. But right now, I need to go and eat breakfast. I'm actually waiting on the home health nurse. She's coming to um, assist me with um, injecting the insulin. And I'm on two different kind of insulin. Um, this one, I have to take with each meal. 12 units with each meal. And then this one, when I'm going to sleep. And my doctor yesterday told me if I take this good and get my um, sugar under control, that I probably will get off of this and get back just on the pill. Um, but yeah, this is my needle. I know it looks like ugh, but what I do is I, um, they was giving me the shots in my arm until I got tired of them sticking my arm in the hospital. And so I started having them stick me in my stomach. I don't even feel it in my stomach. You don't feel nothing. I guess all the fat down there. Um, I have lost a little weight, um, but that's not good weight. I don't know if it's from me being sick those couple of days or from me, I have been going to the gym. But I can feel myself, you know, have lost the weight. Um, I am on an 1,800 calorie diet. Um, they're telling me to read, you know, read labels and stuff like that. Um, I got this bread, I don't know, I just got some wheat bread, butter top bread, I got apples, and, um, I got some sugar, I forgot what you call it, trivia, sugar, or whatever, um, I have to go and see the endocrine doctor before I'm released back to work, kind of disappointed in that, I'm out for like, um, till the 30th, um, other than that, I guess I'm doing okay. Um, it's a lot to do and to keep up with and stuff like that, but thank the Lord that I am um, alive. Uh, when my doctor read the paperwork from the hospital yesterday, she said that, remember I was saying I had a seizure, which that's what I did have, but she, all, she said that I was going into what they call a diabetic coma. And I've heard people, a lot of people they have gone into that before. I, I thought they they in there a while, you know, in the coma a while with that. But I guess thank the Lord, I was just what maybe five ten minutes, um, and this is why my eyes were opening and I'm looking, but I didn't know I was looking. I was still in the, I guess, the diabetic coma. But anyway, that definitely was a wake up call for me. Um, you'll be seeing me doing uh, videos. With, uh, healthy cooking or healthy eating, even if I'm just making a sandwich. Um, and right now I'm about to um, 
take my sugar. And actually, maybe I'll put it on this video. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see me put no insulin in me. I know some people are very squeamish. But anyway, I'm going to um, take my sugar right now on camera to see what it is I haven't eaten. I haven't taken my insulin yet. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I already have the, uh, the strip in the meter. And it's just waiting for me to prick my finger. And it's a very light stick. I may have to turn up the. Um, So, okay, it's it looked backwards, but it's it's 145. But I don't know why it looked upside down. But it's 145, which is good for me because um, I was in the 600s the other day, so I'm doing good. That's no food. Now when I eat, of course it's gonna go up, and this is why they want me to take the um, the, the insulin with every meal, um, and I'm supposed to take this. Um, like uh, two hours after I eat also, so I will do it again. Um, like I said, I don't think you guys want to see me do the um, insulin. I'll, I'll show you guys how I draw it, but I'm going to stick myself in the stomach, and I don't think you guys want to see that. <laughs> okay, so this is the insulin I take um, three times a day. It's called Humalog. I'm not supposed to shake it. It's my needle. Make sure they have no bubbles in it. That's about 12. It's about 12 in there. I know you probably can't see it, but it's in there because I see a bubble. And it just moves. So about 12 of this. And um, I just inject this into my um, stomach. Actually, when I'm eating. But I'm going to go ahead and inject it. And then I'm going to go ahead and hurry and eat. And hopefully this nurse come on. Uh, I was trying to. Actually, I should have waited until she came. Maybe she could show me something different. But that's how I do.